Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data. In this video, I'm going to cover 10 Google Analytics terms you need to know. You'll learn about page value, property, users, bounce rate, and more. This video is the perfect complement to my popular Google Analytics glossary. You'll find the link in the description below. And I'd love to know if you know all of the terms we cover or if there's some you've never encountered. So stick around and let me know in the comments. Let's get started. Number one is page value, which allows you to understand the impact of your website's pages in driving value based on e-commerce transactions and goal conversions, where you've actually set a goal value. Each page that led to a conversion shares the value that was generated by the conversion. Number two is calculated metrics. Calculated metrics allow you to create your own metrics that are based on the default metrics available within your reports. For example, you can create your own calculated metric that divides goal completions by users to create a user goal conversion rate, which is not the same as a session-based conversion rate. Next is content grouping, which lets you classify each page of your website into a particular category. This allows you to perform top-level reporting and analysis on your pages based on your own content classifications. You can create content groups by modifying your tracking code, by extracting details from your pages, or by creating rules. Number four is properties, which are created within a Google Analytics account. Each property represents an instance of the tracking ID used to collect data from a website, group of websites, mobile app, or using the measurement protocol. Each property will include data sent to the associated tracking ID. Once data has been collected, it is processed into the reporting view or views created under that property. Number five is view, which are contained in each Google Analytics property. You can have one or more reporting views that contain data from your website. Views can contain a complete set of data from the tracking code or a subset of data using filters. Each reporting view has its own goals and other configurations. Next is dimension, which are one of two types of data that Google Analytics collects. A dimension is an attribute or characteristic of your users and their interactions with your website. Dimensions are typically presented as a row of information within your reports. Examples of dimensions include page path, which provides information about the pages people have viewed, and marketing channel, which provides information about how people found your website. You'll find the dimension presented in the first column inside the standard Google Analytics reports. Number seven is metric. Metrics are the other type of data that Google Analytics collects. A metric is typically a number like a count or a percentage. Metrics are presented as columns of data within your reports. Examples include page views, which tell you the total number of pages that were viewed, and users, which tell you how many people viewed your website. Number eight is hostname, which is the part of your website's URL that identifies where the Google Analytics tracking code was loaded. For example, if someone viewed example.com forward slash contact, then Google Analytics would report on example.com as the hostname. Viewing the host names in Google Analytics can be especially useful if you've installed the tracking code on multiple domains or subdomains. Next is bounce rate. Bounce rate is the percentage of sessions with a single page view. Bounce rate can provide top level insights about the performance of your content. For example, if you want people to travel on to view a subsequent page on your website, then you can aim to lower your bounce rate. It's also important to apply context when analyzing bounce rate since some pages will deliver all the information someone is looking for on a single page. For example, a store locator or a blog post. And number 10 is user, which is an individual person browsing your website, technically a unique browser cookie. Each user can visit your website multiple times. For example, one user could create three sessions on your website with each session containing multiple page views. By default, each unique browser cookie will be counted as a separate user, which means someone visiting your website on multiple devices, each with their own browser cookie, will mean more than one user is reported. The user ID feature allows you to track unique individuals that identify themselves on multiple devices. So there are my 10 Google Analytics terms you need to know. I'd love to know if you knew all of the terms we covered or if there's some that you've never encountered before. Let me know in the comments.
If you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. And don't forget to check out my complete Google Analytics glossary. See you next time.